guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am super super excited for today's video because it is something that I've been working on for so long and that is my presets for Instagram. So if you guys have been following me on Instagram for a while now, then you guys have probably noticed my theme that I've been trying to stick to for over a year now. So I think themes are so important when it comes to growing your business, trying to work with brands or to get new followers. It really does have an element of attraction. So when somebody visits your profile for the first time, they know notice a really beautifully curated profile, it's easy to navigate for them, and then they're more likely to follow you. Also when you're trying to work with brands, it comes off super professional, your theme looks really organized, and you kind of look like you have a strategy. The way I achieve my theme is by using a preset or a filter on all my photos so it looks super cohesive and all my photos flow together, and honestly it saves so much time. I know when I talk about presets, everyone always gets so intimidated, but it is super easy. You don't Download a free app to use and then you purchase a preset and it literally is a one-click application I'm gonna show you guys a lot of before and afters so you guys get an idea of what a raw unedited photo looks like and then what it looks like with my filter on it I'm also going to show you guys how easy it is to use a preset and then lastly I'm gonna share a few apps that I think are super helpful if you are trying to get a theme on your profile and just some tips how to have really good quality photos so I hope you guys find this video helpful and this get right into it. So I have my iPhone laid out here so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. I have an iPhone X Plus but I really don't think it matters what phone you have. It matters more about the camera that is built in to the phone and these days all the phones have really good cameras built in so that shouldn't matter. What I think matters most is how you edit your photos. So you can really enhance a poor quality photo by tweaking it correctly or you can take a really good quality picture and completely trash it by doing the wrong edits on it. So I really think editing is the key here. The first app I want to talk about is Dropbox. I highly recommend using Dropbox to transfer your photos from your memory card to your phone or to import and to download photos. Dropbox retains the quality of photos, which is really important here. So what I've done is already imported a bunch of photos from my memory card onto my Dropbox using my computer. Then I go ahead and I come to the app on my cell phone and then I tap a photo and I hit the three dots and hit export and save image to get the photo onto my camera roll. It's really easy to select a lot of photos at once and export them all together but for this demo I already exported a lot of photos so I'm going to skip this step. I just wanted to point out this app because if you are using a really good camera or like a DSLR or something like that, then you want to retain the quality instead of like airdropping it or like emailing it to self. I think Dropbox is the best bet. So going forward, the second most important app for editing is Lightroom CC. I know there are tons of apps out there that you can use these days for edits, but I really think for the best quality and amazing results, Lightroom has a lot of features that you can play around with that can really transform your pictures. I used to have several more apps than just these four, but what I realized is the more apps that I had downloaded and I would go into each app editing the same photo, I ended up losing quality on my photo and I ended up with a really compressed and low quality photo. So to prevent that, I'm going to stick with one app that I am loving. So when you first download the app, you won't have any photos in your album. You have to hit this plus sign and then select the photos to bring them into your catalog. Um, so you just select them like that and click add photos. I'm not going to do that here because I did bring in some photos already. So once you tap on the photo, it will bring in all these options down here for you to edit your photo. So if you don't want to mess around with this, the best bet is to download a preset from one of your favorite bloggers or from online, just search it up. Or if you guys are interested in mine, I'll link that down below. So I'm going to tap that and here you'll see my preset that I have installed. So if you're going to purchase my preset, I'm going to link it down below. Once you follow my installation guide, you will have this exact same preset downloaded. So I'm going to click on my preset and hit the check button. So I'm not sure if you guys noticed that or if the camera is picking it up well, 
but here is the preset applied. So if you wanna see what it looked like before, just tap and hold down the photo and that will show you the before. So you can tell the photo is beautiful, but it's a bit dark and it doesn't have the pink hue and warmth that I like. And so once I release the photo, here is the after. You can see a pink warm tone has been added. It really is that simple. It is a one click and you're done. And you can save it by just hitting that button up there and hit save to camera roll. I always choose the maximum available side and you're done. It is that easy and you can upload it on to Instagram. So I'm gonna go back and show you guys a couple more examples just to show you how it works on different photos. Clicking on another photo, I'm gonna do the same thing, scroll across, I'm gonna find presets, then I'm gonna use my same fresh blush preset hit that and hit apply and again you will see here's the before it's kind of dim and dark and then this is the after it's really airy it's really fresh and it's super bright um, you will see that the blue tones of my jeans have been altered so if you don't like that the jeans are so washed out you can always go to color hit the wheel up here and then go to blue and you can adjust the saturation, bring it down, bring it up. So you can really customize your presets after purchasing them. So I'm gonna go back and show you guys another photo. Here's another photo that I absolutely loved, but you can tell it's kind of dim, the colors are not bright. So I'm gonna scroll across, find my presets, hit apply, and voila, you can see this was the before and this is the after. The colors just look a little more bright, look a little more subtle, and give that really airbrushed look. So I'm gonna go back and show you a couple more. This photo I also really liked, but it was too dark for me to use. So I scrolled across and I found my preset again and I hit apply. So you can see instantaneously it became from dull and gray to bright and pink. Again, you can also adjust things like the brightness if you wanted to. So if you wanted this a little brighter, you can make it brighter. If you wanna bring the exposure down, you can bring it down. So you can still play around the photos after using your preset. And of course, just always save by hitting that and save maximum size available. Here's another photo that I really liked, but it wasn't bright enough for me. So I'm gonna scroll across, find presets, use my same blush preset, and you can see it brightened the photo. Now, one thing I do wanna mention is the orange tone of your skin will vary depending on your skin tone. So if you have a complexion similar to mine, I would go to the orange and leave it as is. But if you're lighter than me, then you can definitely bring up the saturation so you don't lose color in your skin tone because everyone's skin tone varies. So I'm gonna hit done. I like the way that looks. So I'm gonna scroll out and then I'm gonna save that as well. So I think you guys get the point here. There are several more photos I can be doing this to, but I'm not gonna sit here and bore you guys. So once I'm done with all my photo edits, I'm ready to upload onto Instagram. But before I upload it onto Instagram, I always put it in this app to see how it would look on my feed. So this is great to plan out your feed if you have a theme and you don't want to mess it up, then I would highly recommend this app. It is awesome for that. You can also upload five or six pictures in advance and you can plan out your entire feed and see what it would look like. So I'm gonna hit this button right here. All these photos have been loaded in from my Instagram. As you can see, I'm connected to my Instagram, so I was able to pull those in. So I'm gonna load in one of the pictures that I just uploaded. So I'm gonna hit done there. And I put the picture there, but I can swap it and bring it down. And now I know what it would look like if I wanted to post it on my feed. So that looks good, it follows my theme, so I'm happy with that. Again, you can put in several more pictures and plan out your entire feed if you wanted to. Also, there are some apps out there that will schedule your post for you, so you can give it a certain day and time and it will post the picture for you on your Instagram, but this app doesn't do that. This purely just to strategize and plan out your feed but I will link a scheduling app down below if you guys are interested in that. But yeah, there isn't much to this app. I just really find it helpful to stay on top of my theme game. And then last but not least, I have Facetune, which I'm sure every single one of you guys know about. This app is great if you want to like fix any blemishes, if you want to soften up your skin or anything like that. I do want to say that this app will take away quality from your photo. It compresses it quite a bit, so just be aware of that. I try to use this very sparingly because 
because I know it will take away the quality of my photo. So that's pretty much it. These are the four main apps I would highly recommend all of you guys to try out. They're all completely free. I will have a link for them down below. But before I sign off, I'm going to quickly show you guys my website where you can find my presets if you're interested. So all you have to do is go to simplyjostra.com and then hit the search bar and type in preset. Once it's done loading, it should pull up this page where you can add the preset to your cart and check out. I hope you guys have found this helpful. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I'll do my best to respond. If you have any questions about my preset, send me a DM or email me at the email address that I linked down below. And that's all I have for now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.